Ah, uh, it's not about smoking. It's actually it's about nicotine. <laughs> Well, everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. I get this question asked a lot of me. Is smoke, why is smoking so bad? Is it the tobacco? Is it the nicotine? What is it? Now, in this video, I'm not for or against smoking. I grew up with a smoker. My mom smoked her whole life. She smoked when she was 13 years old because she was born in 1934, and that's what they did back then. <laughs> However, I saw over the decades just the, how the effects on my mother, how it affected her family, how it affected everybody around us. So the nicotine I want to talk about, not the smoking, because nicotine is actually not bad for you. And nicotine, it's actually an alkaloid found in tobacco plants. And for thousands of years, it's been used as a psycho, for its psychoactive properties because it's a stimulant. It creates alertness, increases brain function. So again, the function of nicotine, it works by upregulating our nicotinic uh, acetylcholine receptors in our brain. Okay, so it increases the release of a neurotransmitter, acetylcholine, dopamine, serotonin, serotonin, and glutamine. This is why it increases our alertness, our motivation, our mood. It calms us down. Okay, increase alertness, attention, cognitive function in our brain, memory, mood and it boosts overall the cognitive brain function. But I wanna talk about a supplement like a nicotine gum or how nicotine affects the body if you're taking it as a supplement. So the benefits of nicotine, it boosts the dopamine, norepinephrine, which is our adrenaline response, as well as our serotonin levels, which will help calm us down, okay? It can work as stimulatory or inhibitory. It crosses the blood-brain barrier very, very fast, in about 20 seconds. We in our brain, we have like a sheet, like a saran wrap that protects the brain of harmful chemicals. Nicotine, the reason why it, it, the stimulatory effects are so fast because it crosses that in 20 seconds. So in return, it's gonna increase our fine, our fine motor skills, increase the alertness, attention, short-term memory, our working memory, our long-term memory. And the key thing is, the reason why it calms us down, it increases, we have what's called alpha waves. Alpha waves are used in a relaxed state with learning and focus and overall our overall state. We have different brain waves and the alpha waves. This is the, what you want to help calm you down to increase memory and brain function. So I want to talk about if you're going, not by smoking, but again, there's different ways to take nicotine, gum, patches, belongages, so forth and so on. The thing about nicotine you have to look out for, it's dose dependent, okay? You could create a tolerance very, very fast so the more you're gonna get, the more you're gonna need. So keep one thing in mind, nicotine is dose dependent if you're gonna take it as a supplement, okay? So recommended dosage is one to two milligrams only as needed, because remember, if you're gonna take more and more and more, you need more. So again, there's a couple different ways. One is the gum. Now, the gum, it comes in about anywhere from two to four milligram uh, pieces of gum. So you wanna break that in half, okay? The time release is 20 to 30 minutes, and again, the thing about the gum, which is harmful about the gum, is that it contains a lot of other chemicals and ingredients that are bad for you, particularly aspartame. So you want to watch out for the gum. Another one is the mini longuses. They come in two, uh, two milligram doses. And again, it the, dose, uh, the time release is, 20, is 10 to 20 minutes. Also too, the patches. The thing about the patches is you have to look out for the patches. It's, so you want to cut them down to dose dependent size. Okay, because you don't want to put this huge patch on you and get this huge wave of nicotine in you because there are side effects. Now again, with smoking, smoking, I'm not promoting smoking with this video because smoking, each cigarette has over 4,000 different chemicals in it. 42 known carcinogens. These are all chemicals that are bad for you. Carbon monoxide, formaldehyde, uh, again, arsenic, DDT, can cadmium. These are all harmful chemicals that when you are taking a cigarette, you're ingesting. And because the nicotine is addictive, this is what keeps you coming back for more. Now again, the problem with, again, just watch out for the nicotine because there are side effects. Number one side effects of, if you're gonna take a supplement of nicotine, it is addictive. So you're gonna get increased heart rate, dizziness, cough, sneezing, upset stomach, constipation, headaches and sinus problems by taking in too much nicotine. Now, the one thing about nicotine you have to look out for, okay, it can be a tumor promoter. 
So if you had cancer in the past, do not use because you could actually reactivate the cancer that you had. But if you don't have cancer, okay, it's not that bad in your system. So again, I'm not promoting the use of smoking, but again, nicotine, people ask me about it. I'm making a video on it. I hope you like it. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. Hey, it's, over the last couple of years, my YouTube channel has grown tremendously, and I can only appreciate it, the viewers who subscribe. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button to get the first up-to-date videos, or you could always Google my name, Dr. Janan Jawad, and you could go to my JDoc Real Minute page. Again, if you hit the subscribe button, you'll get the most up-to-date videos, and thanks everybody who's watching. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.